you can just move yourself forward every day and win the day. You're going to do really, really well in real estate investing and really, really well in life. Welcome. This is the Hot Real Estate Investing Podcast, a podcast dedicated to helping others through real estate investing. Our hosts interview guests from all aspects of real estate investing who generously share valuable experiences and advice. Whether you're starting out or an experienced investor, this is the show for you. What is going on, everybody? My name is Travis Shelton, host of the Hot Real Estate Investing Podcast, and I'm just thrilled to be able to share this podcast with you and our audience of real estate investors. Uh, as today's the very first show, really want to kind of set the ground for what the show is about, what we're going to be doing on the show, and uh, kind of go through a show so that you know a little bit more about me your host, and uh, hopefully have you subscribe and listen in in the future. So what is Hot Real Estate Investing Podcast all about? It's about helping others. It's based on the brand, uh, my my passion project, my passion in life is helping others. Uh, I'm a pharmacist by training, uh, worked in as an oncology pharmacist at Mayo Clinic for over 12 years, and really found real estate investing early on. As soon as I graduated pharmacy school, ended up buying a six bedroom, four and a half bath house that we'll talk about a little bit later, which ultimately led to me helping pay off over $120,000 of student loans. And it was that along with Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad that really fueled the fire for my financial independence and financial freedom. And the reason for Hot REI, which stands for helping others through real estate investing. So what I hope to be able to provide through this podcast, Hot Real Estate Investing Podcast, which just stands for helping others through real estate investing with a little play on words, keeping it hot, uh, is to make sure that I'm giving back. You know, one quote that I really like to share and, and one focus of mine by doing this podcast is one uh, from Zig Ziglar, and I'll just read it. You know, Zig Ziglar said, you can have everything in life you want if you help enough people get what they want. And that's really the basis of, of Hot REI and of this podcast is I want to give back. Uh, I have connections. I have people that I know. And what, you, what I found out through real estate investing is everyone is super collaborative. Everybody likes to help each other. There's not just one winner. Uh, it's not like school where you can't cheat off your neighbor well, in this business, I can. I can see someone else doing a short-term rental business doing really well and, and mimic some of their processes. I can see how people are taking down multifamily or self-storage units and teaming up and combining money. And there's just so much collaboration in real estate investing that I love. And I want to share and give back to you all. Um, I also think that a lot of times within these podcasts, people are so far beyond. It's really hard to connect and relate to these multimillionaires. And so this this project, you know, this podcast is really a project for me. Uh, I was inspired by the MF CEO or Andy Frisella's podcast and the Brian Buffini podcast, which focuses on mindset, motivation, and methodologies. Uh, to be able to provide this and share with you guys my journey to financial freedom and my family's journey to financial freedom. As today's my 40th birthday, I wanted to have a special recording and uh, really have this hot real estate investing podcast available to my children. I have three. They're super young. I got a three-year-old named Cooper. I got a one-year-old named Sonny and a newborn, uh, a month old today, was born uh December 5th last year. So just 30 days old and uh, named Brock. And, you know, I want to have them have a memory of their dad uh, giving back and also maybe something that they can follow in my footsteps in the future as an entrepreneur or as somebody who really loves giving back to community and friends and family and really just helping people and being selfless. Um, you know, I want to I want to be that role model for my kids. And I think I can do that through this podcast. And so again, I'm just blessed to be able to do this and share this with the world and really hope that you guys can tune in. And, you know, the big goal is to educate, inform, and entertain on this podcast. So we'll be inviting 
real estate investors, both that have full-time jobs right now and are doing real estate investing on the side, as well as full-time real estate investors or people in the trades that can help you, that can support you. So my hope is to keep these podcasts super brief, about 15 minutes, but hard hitting where you're going to be able to walk away with recommendations, motivation, um, things that are going to move you forward. And maybe it's not going to be a huge leap, but I truly believe in that 1% a day. And if you can just move yourself forward every day and win the day that you're going to do really, really well in real estate investing and really, really well in life. And uh, I subscribe to the motto, you know, do good and do well. I want to do good for others and I want to do well for myself and my family as well. And this podcast and, and my business, Hot REI, is, is all about that. So this podcast is dedicated to real estate investors uh, and others that have W-2s that might have walked or found themselves a, a landlord by maybe selling a house and having to rent out a house or maybe buying their first short-term rental and or those people that have just found out about financial independence and really... I can provide them a huge lift in getting them to where they need to be and utilizing my resources and the resources of other guests that come onto the show to really help them get to where they need to be. Okay, so every hot real estate investing podcast is going to start off with a motivational quote provided by our guest. And so since I'm the guest of my own podcast today, my motivational quote is one from Napoleon Hill, and I'll just read it. It says, the majority of men meet with failure because of their lack of persistence, creating new plans to take place of those which fell, right? So often, I feel like when someone fails, we, we look at them as a failure, we, they stop, they don't want to progress, they don't want to do anything else. And, and I think through real estate investing, you know, I've made a lot of failures. I made a lot of failures in life. And, uh, you know, I think failures ultimately provide the best lessons in life and they make us really stop and think if what we're doing is the right. And sometimes we learn the mo and really I've learned the most through my failures. We'll talk about a few of my failures in real estate investing and why they've made me a better real estate investor. Um, and through this podcast, I think you, a lot of our guests, um, one of the questions I'm going to ask is what is their biggest failure in the lesson learned? And you're going to notice a trend that real estate investors fell a lot. We do. And you know, that's a good thing because we ultimately, those little failures lead to huge successes. And I truly believe that. And that's, that's a quote I like to read every day because it, it, it burns that fire inside of me that it's okay that we made a mistake or we chose one path that doesn't stop us from going another path or being more successful doing something else. There's a lot of times we have to pivot in life and in business. And most of us, um, got taught if you fail, you're a loser, you're a failure, right? And um, that you can't cheat off your friends and that you can't, you know, uh, you shouldn't be going to coaches or, or learning from someone else. And that's just not really true in the real world. So uh, especially in the world of real estate investing. So after our motivational quote, each show will go into really the main topic or what we call the, the hot topic uh, that the guest is coming on to be able to provide help to you, the audience, listening in. And I'll really start off with the same question to, to each guest. And that is, you know, how can you help our audience of real estate investors the most? And whether they're focused on multifamily or self-storage or syndication or long-term rentals or short-term rentals or whatever the case, the goal is for them to be able to provide you tools for your tool belt to be able to make you a better investor while also providing you resources. Um, many of these people will have will be coaches or have websites or share best practices or be willing for you to contact them and reach out because again, uh, this world is all about collaboration. So you know today really the focus of how I can help you as a real estate investor or someone trying to get to become a real estate investor is through this podcast. You know, I'm going to teach you that you have to win the day every day. And this is a focus that I learned through Andy Frisella and his power five, writing down five things every single day that are going to move you forward. What are your most important next steps that if you complete those five things, your power five every single day that you win the day. Brian Buffini has a similar focus in his, uh, in his podcast and in his coaching. And that's, you know, really three wins. 
three wins of the day. What do you have to do to win the day? And then there, there's a common theme in a lot of successful people that they focus on the most important tasks and take care of those tasks first in their day and move forward each and every day. And I think that's what my hope is that by listening to this podcast, I can help move you forward at least that 1% every single week. Another thing that really spurred my interest in being able to do this podcast was a quote I read and something that I just, I'm, I'm really intrigued by. And, and it's, it's simple. It's what if, what if we were a world that was more about collaboration? And it just struck me, you know, stop for a moment, minute and think about that. What if we were a world more about collaboration and we all helped each other? We, we all supported each other. And we all reached out our hand and pulled someone else up. And that was our focus. And that's what this podcast is all about. I'm spending my time. I'm spending my money. I'm spending my, um, you know, and I don't have a lot. I got three young kids. I got a beautiful wife that I love. Um, and I, I want to spend time with. I have a, a family, a father, and a mother-in-law that we spend a lot of time together. And... And I still have a W-2 and I like to real estate invest and I have a lot, a lot on my plate, but I know that if I don't give back now that I'll never give back and I can give, give money and I give money to many charities and I can give time and I can give my time to charities. Um, and my hope with this is to give my time and energy and money to you all so that it helps you guys advance that much further. And I want to hope that I can help create more and more financial independence for you, the audience and people listening in today and other real estate investors. Um, and hopefully follow my, my trail and hopefully you guys skip me and you guys are well ahead of me in the, in the coming years, you know, by having a regular real estate meetup for over three years here in the Phoenix area, I had people that came and didn't have one deal that had never done a real estate, um, deal at all. And now they have more units than me. Now they've already left their W-2 job and, uh, I'm not jealous. I'm super supportive. I'm, I'm pumped for them. I couldn't be more happy for these individuals, you know, and some of those people will be on this podcast and they'll share with you, you know? Um, I think one of the coolest things I heard from one of them was I stopped coming to your meetup until I went and did something. And it was really cool because I've heard that a couple of times that, People stopped coming to my meetup because they st stopped. They didn't want to talk about what they were going to do, but they didn't want to come back until they actually did something. And that's probably one of the most powerful things that, that I've heard anyone say. And, and I'm, I'm really, really excited to share some of these guests and some of these investors with you because I think you'll, you'll find yourself in them and I think you'll be able to, to relate. And also you'll see it's not as hard as some of us think right? We just got to get started. You got to get started. You got to, you know, and you'll make some mistakes, but you're going to learn from those and, and rise up because of those. So after our main topic, right, we'll go to motivational quote, main topic. The last part are the final four questions, or we call the final four hot questions, right? And these are going to be asked to all, all guests. So you'll have a sense really, um, and be able to walk away from these podcasts with the motivational quote, and the first question that we ask everybody is a, a book recommendation. You know, what's one book you'd recommend uh, for people wanting to know more about real estate investing or just something that helps them move forward? And uh, for me, you know, I think everyone's going to say Rich Dad, Poor Dad. A lot of people are going to say that. But this book right here, The Millionaire Real Estate Investor, uh, it changed my life. It's a book that I've listened to on Audible I don't know how many times, honestly, probably about 10 different times. Uh, I've probably read the book two or three times. I'm more of a, a an audible um, listener of a lot of books instead of actually sitting down and reading, but something I'm trying to work to improve. Um, but that book, Rich Dad Poor Dad kind of gave me my why and taught me about what is an asset and what is, you know... Um, what, it, why do I want financial freedom and differences between the 401k and, and a pension plan and some, some big things. And that really kind of like sparked it. But I feel like this millionaire real estate investor, this is almost a blueprint. You follow this, you read this, he gives you a ton. I go back and look at it and I go, Oh yeah, I need to be reviewing my personal financial statement. Oh yeah. Just keep buying, you know, keep moving forward. 
Uh, so that's one book I, I highly recommend if you're interested in real estate and it's, it's timeless. Honestly, I've, I've read it year after year thinking, Oh, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to work in a bull market. It's not going to work in a bear market, but in reality it works in every market. You can buy real estate and do well in any type of market. Um, a seller's market, a buyer's market doesn't matter. Buy real estate and wait, right? So the second question we'll ask all our podcast guests is what is your favorite, your app or time saver, or maybe a hack that you utilize in your day to day that kind of helps you move forward? And so for me, that is, that is that power five I talked about earlier, you know? So every day I try to write down five things I need to do just five that if I get these five things done, like today, record this podcast, it's going to move me forward in life. It might be going on a date night with my wife. But they're all tracked and back to my goals. You know, I term my goals are uh, very specific. They're measurable. They're trackable. And then from those goals, I create daily things that I need to do. And so that power five and just completing the five really most critical things for my day, writing down that list and checking them off, it gives me momentum and it gives me an urge to want to do more than just those five. But what I find is by doing those five every single day, I get further ahead than a lot of people, um, you know, trying to do the same sort of stuff in real estate investing or in life. The third question that we'll ask every guest is what is the biggest real estate mistake or failure and what did you learn from it? So, you know, I've made a lot of real estate mistakes. Uh, it just, it goes with the territory, right? And, and I'm harshest on myself. I'm my biggest critic. So I'm going to beat myself up more than most. And I'm sure you guys are all the same, but, um, mine was my first house. It was a huge success. It helped me pay off $120,000 of student loans, right? Wow. How could that be a failure? Right. But I had three or four options of homes and that was probably the one that did the worst. And, uh, you know, I listened to, to my poor dad, which we'll, we'll hear a lot about rich dad, poor dad and stuff. And not that it was a bad decision. Again, it, it did everything I expected it and hoped that it had done, but the other properties probably would have done me a little bit better. But because of that, because of that, what I call a failure, um, I learned so much. I learned how to be a better realtor. I learned how to be a better negotiator. I got to do rehab. I got to uh, remodel a lot of home uh, of the home. I got to learn contractors. I really got to learn what what it's like in a tough environment. When I tried to first sell the home, I couldn't sell it. And then I took it back off the market. I did some rehab, did some work. And even though it was a new home in 2009, I still was updating it and perfecting it to make sure it was up to the standards that I wanted to and be able to get top dollar. And, uh, you know, I call it a failure, but it was really just a learning lesson. And, uh, you know, I could have done better in other properties, but ultimately I'm actually really happy that that was the home that I bought because had I had it so easy and, and hit a home run on my very first swing, I, I wouldn't be as good of an investor as I am today. So it taught me a lot. Uh, that first home and my quote unquote mistake taught me a lot more than, than a home run would have. And, you know, to me, that was still a home run. It paid off all my student loan debt in a few short years, you know, over a hundred grand uh, of equity. I was able to take a HELOC. I learned so much in that house uh, that, you know, I, I, again, just get started. You'll figure it out. And you'll learn lessons along the way that's going to make you a better investor over time. So the final question that I'll ask all my audience uh, is one that I really just care to know about them as a person and as, as a being. And that's, if you could be remembered for one thing, what would it be? So for me, it's really simple. It's my why. It's, I want to be a great husband. I want to be a great father. And I want to be a great friend you know, and, uh, I work every day to try to hit up or touch base with one of my friends. Uh, I'm trying to be closer to my family than ever. And, you know, this podcast is a project to be able to have my own kids listen to me one day, uh, and hopefully learn that mistakes are okay and failures are okay. Um, but just to continue to win the day and continue to move forward one step all right. Well, you know, and after the final four, that's really, that's really it. We're going to try to keep these podcasts pretty quick to about 15 minutes. And you're going to walk away with some motivation and a motivational quote. You're going to be able to walk away with, you know, uh, some mindset 
or some methodology based on the real estate investor that's joining us uh, that's coming on just to share something helpful with you, the audience. And, you know, last, those four hot questions are going to be able to provide you a book recommendation, maybe a failure or a lesson learned, um, as well as a, as a time saver or some sort of tip or trick that's going to help you move forward. So, you know, in 15 minutes, I want to be able to provide you three or four real good nuggets each and every week uh, from people that are doing deals. And people like you and I that might not be the Grant Cardones of the world, that we're not the Rod Khalifs or the Brad Sumrocks yet, but we will be. And those are what people are going to be talking about, Travis Shelton and yourself one day, of how big are you? And really what I want to be remembered for, again, someone that gave back, someone that loved and had a passion for helping others. And that's what this podcast is all about, is giving back to you, giving back to others, and uh, I'm just super excited to be able to share this. You can find us on hotrei.com. Uh, I'll be able to share all my show notes. I'll share everything I can with you to help you move forward. And uh, God bless and subscribe and, you know, any comments, any feedback. Feedback's the breakfast of champions. Uh, five stars if, if you don't mind. Or give me some c constructive criticism. How can I make this better? You know, what are you looking for that I can help provide? I'm happy to hear it and uh, take care. Thank you for listening to the Hot Real Estate Investing Podcast. Check out our website, hotrei.com for additional content and resources. And please take a moment to subscribe and leave a review so we can continue to bring even more value to others through real estate investing.